When we talk about tests, I kind of break them up into three categories. The standard, the prenatal tests, optional tests, and finally, indicated tests. Back to the standard test, the prenatal panel on the first appointment. The second trimester, uh, we frequently will do a glucose test called the uh, glucose challenge test. It's done at 24 weeks. It's the test to see if you're gonna develop diabetes in pregnancy. Very important to know that during not only the pregnancy, but your health following the pregnancy. In the third trimester, we will do a Q-tip test uh, from the vaginal area called a group B beta strep test to see if you're a natural carrier of that bacteria. If you are, then that indicates you'll need antibiotics while you're in labor. So these are just a quick overview of the standard tests. We do have optional tests, many of which come in the first trimester. One of them is a test called nuchal translucency. It's a relatively new test. It's performed by a perinatologist who is a additionally trained high-risk obstetrician. It's a sonogram, a very specific sonogram, where they're checking the thickness of the back of the baby's neck. If the baby's neck appears to be abnormally thickened, meaning they fail the nuchal translucency test, especially if it appears the baby may be missing a nasal bone, that would correlate very highly with a genetic malformation. If you're African-American, do you need a sickle cell trait? Do you know your status in that regards? Similar to sickle cell, if you're, say, Greek or from one of the other Mediterranean countries, there's another blood test that we check for a condition called thalassemia. If you're of Jewish uh, descent, of a very specific type of uh, location from Europe, uh, we offer to see if, you're, if there's any recognition of Tay-Sachs disease. There's a large number of specific disease processes that are unique to different ethnic groups. Uh, it's up to the physician to recognize that. What I like to do with every patient in the prenatal appointment is I review the labs with them. I'll say your blood type is such and such, your blood count is good, you did pass your glucose test, the baby seems to be growing well, the heartbeat is strong. So it's just not tests that we do and look at the results and keep to ourselves. This is information we share with the patient to reassure her that she's doing the right thing, the baby's doing the right thing, growing well, and our plan remains on track. Full nine months, vaginal birth, everybody's happy.